Okay, everybody, welcome back. I am Pete. I'm Rabia. And uh, we are continuing our journey, our Iben, 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 yes, journey, journey. Uh journey. Today, where we are just throwing videos at you. And uh, if you don't want to miss anything, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We have to say that before, because nobody watches the videos all the way to the end, right? So we Apparently. have to say it in the beginning. And if you want to watch all the other videos we've done, there's a little pop-up banner up there that you can click on. And uh, you can watch some of the other silly videos we've done, me and Lee, and uh, me and Rabia. Oh, Rabia and I. There you go. Is that how we go? But now we're looking at the five series, so the mm -hmm. new five series from Ivan S. Uh, we have got three of them here. We do. You, why don't you start with yours? Um, okay. This is the Ivan S, or Ibanez, depending on where in the world you're from. <laughs> 5121. One. Yeah. Um, actually, quite a simple code name for Ivan S guitars, but yeah, either way. Ones. It's a pretty sort of solid guitar, if yep. that makes sense. Yep. Like, it's a hard tail. We've got Fishman humbuckers in it, locky tuners, so it's not going to go out of tune. It's a five piece neck, it's super sturdy, mahogany body, um, and it's string through. So, in terms of all of, the, in terms of stability, it's not going to disappoint you. Um, in terms of the color, I don't know what the color, the actual name of the color is. But I think that's the burgundy. Uh, it's like a burgundy thing. It's called. It comes in two colors, and one of them is a uh, dark tide blue flat, and the other one is burgundy metallic flat. Yeah, with there's matching just a bit of metallic element to it. Yeah, which I like. So these are the premium, right? So uh, the prestige, sorry. So these are the, these are the made in Japan ones with the super duper cool hard cases and all the bits and mm -hmm. bells and whistles and stuff. We've got uh, which um, you would expect. 510, tier, uh, 510 Goto lock and tuners, and the neck is Wenge and Maple. Yeah, I and like it's, that. It's a bolt on construction. You need battery here for your Fishman pickups. Yeah. And then interestingly, so we've got the, it's the Fishman Modern. Yeah. Right. Okay. Bugger, yeah, yeah. yeah. And what's, what's nice about these are, well, it's a three way, but we've got this little switch here which changes the voicing of the pickup. Yeah. One to be. I mean, I would say that one sounds a little more modern, a bit more gain to it, yeah. and the other one sounds a little more traditional, like a Les Paul humbucker yeah. style thing. Volume and tone. But why don't you just show us what it's going to sound like with beer? Yeah, why don't I just shut up and play and for Just you? shut up and play. Shut up and dance. <laughs> dance. <laughs> right, so this is, um, so in the down position, that is the, the first voice, voice one, and switch up is voice, voice two. One. So, uh, VX Kraken, bridge pickup. Nice and tight, let's switch it. One, one has more high end, it's way yeah. more articulate. Yeah. So if you're into your jaunt, then I guess you would put it in the down position. <laughs> jaunt. Yeah. That sounds great. And again, voice two. Fatter, isn't it? It is, it is fatter, yeah. but I quite like it. Um, anyway, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the gain down because yeah. then you can hear the sound of the pickups more. Voice one, bridge. One. Then voice two. Fat. I way prefer voice two yeah. uh, for crunch. Right, middle position. Voice two. Bad. Yeah, and then finally, neck pickup. I was about to play the wrong note because I'm in drop, right? And then voice two. I think for crunch and anything cleaner, I prefer voice two, it's fatter. Yeah, yeah, nice guitar. And what I like is that, yeah, you've got the option if you want to tighten it up for your heavy rhythm stuff. Yeah. You just put it in voice one and it would tighten right up for all those uh, girthy, growly chugs that we hear in modern progressive metal. Uh, so let's jump over to this one, the 5320C in forest green metallic. Impressive. <laughs> I mean, because we're doing so many guitars today, uh, in, in a couple of days, the videos, we kind of have to just read up on the specs. Um, Can I ask a question? Yes. Is that green to you? Well, it's, it's, it's called Deep Forest Green Metallic. I mean, okay. I mean, it's a lovely it colour. Lo it looks a bit blue. It's a lovely colour, but it, it looks a bit more blue to me. But um, maybe, Anywho. I mean, 
it, hey, hey, hey. Sea, deep, the sea blue is more green than, you know. Yep. Some of them, the green colors for the sea can be green, not blue. Sea foam green. There you go. Uh, anyway, so uh, you've got an Air Norton and a Detone Zone. Yeah. Dimarcio pickups in here. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of a Luke, actually. Uh, just just the way that it looks, how the pickups are set in with the, with the double, um, uh, so with the, with the uh, covered pickups here. 24 frets, exactly the same specs as Rubeus, one with the, with the um, seven-piece maple Wenge neck, mahogany body, bindings, trim system, volume and tone, Three-way selector, and then you've got this kind of split. Um, so this is split the coil. This, in this that is one a split then. the coil, yeah. And on, we figured out now on all the Ibanez guitars, downward position is the normal position. So uh, here's some kind of cleanish tones. <laughs> Uh, I've always got a, uh, not a problem, but I've got the thing where if you've got a floating tremolo like, like this one here, and you play like a note, it flutters. You pick too blah, hard, blah, yeah. blah, it flutters. Brrr. I guess you just have to get used to that. Uh, middle position, both pick up together. That's, that's straight into the uh, DP40 from Victory, and here's the neck. Whoa, oh, hey, wait, wait, wait. That's, uh, that's um, pokey. That's pokey. Uh, so what happens here, I'm just gonna explain it really quickly. Uh, when I split it, it's the inner coil, and then it's the two inner coils in the middle position, and then it's the inner coil here. So all inner coilage. So this is what it sounds like on the humbucker. Split it. Yeah. That's a super big, a big difference. Super di big difference. Yeah. Uh, middle position, not split. So you got that if you if you put like a slew on here. Gives that, uh, it gives you that kind of That's piazza lovely. kind of. of a revival drive there in the end. And then a uh, bridge with nothing on, just like. And again, you get a bit of uh, slow, maybe a bit of Dane. Uh, anyway, you know I'm that guitar to about... me, that's, that to me is a soloist guitar because I feel like the sound of it lends itself more to lead than it and soloing than it does to rhythm because of the such a vast difference. Like you could be playing really dynamically feely stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. on the split stuff yeah. and then to scream and shred and then it get out, it, yeah. slap and, and, it over there. And it's got that super uh, wizard neck on it, so it's super slim. Uh, yeah. Another thing that they brought over uh, that Ibanez do, like Mercedes do, you know, when they build the S-Class, 
everything that, that is new in the S class will sort of trickle down into all the other uh, yeah. cars eventually, and that's what they're doing. So now these have got illuminated side dots on here as well. Lumin lays. So illuminates. 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 Ill side illuminates oh. <laughs> dots. So anyway, so you got you got little bits pieces like that that sort of trickles into uh, these new um, models. Um, anyway, I think you need to do this one. Apparently, uh, that's what I think you need. It's got gold hardware, and that's so you. Okay. So this is the Ibanez five one seven zero B. <laughs> yeah, um, because I clearly know what this guitar is uh, in terms of its code name. But what we're looking at is like an RG. Pickups wise, you've got the Fishman modern pickups, you've got the uh, bridge in the neck, but in the middle, you've got a ceramic single coil Fishman yep. pickup, which is really nice. Lots of tonal options, five way, uh, volume tone, and again with the voicing switch. Yep. Uh, what's different is obviously we've got this gold hardware, um, and it looks like it's unbound on the, on the neck, same neck construction, and then it's like a straight up gloss black. But what's really interesting is the binding. Yeah, yeah it's got a. You can't really see it, and for that reason, I, I, I do ask the question, why put it on there if you can barely see it, but... But you can barely see it, that's the reason enough to put it on yeah, there, isn't You can it? barely see it's it. Like it's like a, what is it, like a taut? Yeah, it's like a tortoise shell style yeah. binding, which it's nice detail when you, when you get up close, but from afar, you'd never know it was there. Um, apart from that... It's a good looking guitar. I would say it's, it's very classy, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but anyway, right. let's have a listen to it. Let's have a listen. Right. Bridge pickup, crunch again. <laughs> Switch it to position two, uh, sorry, voice two. So it sounds like position, uh, sounds like voice two is thinner than voice one to me yeah. on this one. So this is voice one. So maybe it's splitting it down more to me. Uh, position two, voice one. I like that position. That sounds great. That sounds great. Yeah, and then uh, voice two. It's a subtle change, but it, it's yeah. a really nice sound. It's maybe a tiny bit more thickness. Right, position three. Cool. Mm. Position four. That's lovely. Uh, and then voice two. Fatter in position two, isn't it? Yeah. I like that. That's a great sound. It is. And then finally, neck pickup, uh, voice one. Then voice two. Yeah, so it's just splitting it down real quick, just because I can. Let's <laughs> get out some game. Gain it up, boy! Hello. 
That was fun. That was very fun. I started to sweat. I can feel myself getting hot. And then again. you're like, I'm done now. Yeah, yeah, stop, stop, no. So anyway, there you go. Uh, we'll, you can, we'll play you out with the rest of the jam you heard in the beginning as well. And if you've got any questions and you are, and this is, you're watching it on the day, uh, then just hop over to our social media. If not, then all the links are these below. They're about 17.29, so about 17.18 on a quid. I think if you're a rhythm player, if you're a lead player, yeah, oh, that's, that's my vibe. And if you want something a little bit more traditional with some, mm-hmm. some, because you know the fluence, you have to charge them or put batteries or whatever. This is a bit more sort of. Um, I think I go for that one. For yeah, me I think I go for that. I really like this guitar. I mean, mm. the neck you have to get used to, but it's quick to get used to stuff like that. So anyway, thank you. Thanks for watching. Thank I'm you. Pete. I'm Rabir. Like, subscribe, and share. Love you loads. Share. <laughs>